good book club selection when you can't wait to get back in the car and commute to work just so you can start listening again. Lucky for me, this month's social chapter pick, The Coldest Case, The Passes Along Memory, was just that. Now, the immersive new Audible original thriller stars Breaking Bad's Aaron Paul and Kristen Ritter as detective siblings who are investigating a string of homicides rocking Chicago when their father is kidnapped. And then get this, dark secrets from his past emerge that may link him to the murders they're trying to solve. Take a listen. He said you guys be dressed as cops. There's convincing uniforms. What? Who said? Q107. Mornings with Mike. Billy. Are you okay over there? Why do you look like you've seen a ghost? Wait, these handcuffs feel real. The DJ didn't say anything about this. Well, was that real under the water? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Uh, Patty, give me a towel. Uh, here, just take my jacket. What was underwater? Why are you both so freaked out? It was a body. What? There's a damn body tied to the bottom of the buoy, Patty. Are this case. Cynthia, why don't you get started? What did you give it and why? Okay, I gave this a 7 out of 10 and here's why. I was excited because I'm a huge Breaking Bad fan in which these two actors played tragic lovers. Now they play twin siblings, which is a bit of an awkward <laughs> mental switch at first. But once I made the switch, I was happy to be along for the ride to help them solve this coldest case. So if you're looking for a classic whodunit meets kind of hokey old time radio drama vibes, this might be the audible <laughs> listen for you. Oh, nice. Okay, nice. I wasn't too far off. Okay. Uh, I gave this a seven and a half out of 10, and here's why. This was a fast-paced ride from beginning to end. The actors were excellent, anchored by Aaron Paul. The plot points moved really quickly, and the sound effects allowed my imagination to create a crystal clear world in my mind's eye. Now, the plot moved well, but it was also at points really predictable. Not a lot of surprises, but the production value was so high, I almost didn't even care. I really enjoyed the ride while it lasted. Oh my God. Nice. Nice. Yes. <laughs> but here's what I gave. I gave it an 8.5 out of 10. Ooh. And here's why. Because it's an over-the-top, action-packed family melodrama with lines like this. For one thing, you better tell them it's going to be a closed casket. And I was here for it. But it's also textbook storytelling in terms of its structure and setting the tone right out of the gate, which should come as no surprise since this comes courtesy of James Patterson. Now I finally understand why he's the world's best-selling author. Duh. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well. The story centers around twin siblings who work together as detectives on the Chicago police force. So it begs the question, Jess, could you work with a sibling? Oh my gosh, I love my brother so much, but I could never work with him. <laughs> and I feel like he would say the exact same thing. He could never work with me. We joke, actually, between the two of us, like, how do we have the same parents? How do we <laughs> share this much DNA? We're so different. What about you? Oh yeah, oh, my sister and I, we kind of do work together on the yeah. horse farm. And my sister uh, is... I could work with her to the end of time. She's amazing. And this is where our birth order gets subverted. I'm firstborn, she's secondborn. But on the horse farm, she's the firstborn. She takes control. And um, I will literally trust any decision that my sister makes. Okay. We can oh absolutely go right. together. I love yeah. it. So okay. Billy and Patty also work with their dad, who's the chief of detectives. So could you or would you ever work with your dad, Sin? Oh, no. <laughs> to death, but I would say that I have a hard time playing games with him. We, 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 we no. maybe aren't on the same page. He also was a teacher before, and so I, I have vivid memories of my sister and I sitting there with him trying to explain a math concept and us both being like, <laughs> so I don't think it would work out. You? Uh, oh, that's a tough one. My dad's a tough cookie. Could I work with him? Again, we kind of do on the horse farm, but listen, at the end of the day, we have our opinions, but um, my dad has a saying and he says, you know, when one donkey speaks, the other one must lower its ear. <laughs> you can, I think it's a Portuguese English translation. <laughs> Lost in translation, but that's how the family business works. All right. <laughs> Whatever he says goes. That's how it goes. Okay, so Patty receives an anonymous letter saying that her dad has been paying someone off for 40 years, and she obviously confronts him about it. So this begs the question, have you ever suspected someone you love from holding a big secret in your life? Family secrets. Jeff? Ooh, family secrets. I have never suspected. So when I found out, because I think every family has their, their secrets, I actually, it made me feel like I had an idyllic childhood, that my parents were actually capable of withholding things that, you know, maybe shouldn't have been discussed until 
adulthood, if that makes sense. But then it also made me wonder if part of my personality was dictated by certain tensions in the family, certain anxieties, conversations, and I picked up on it. And the Jess you see here today is sort of like a, ha, huh? over here, <laughs> over here. <laughs> you know, and I think I did that as a kid to try to make people to distract people from pain. Interesting. Oh, oh that's oh. deep. Oh, oh. Jess, yes. uh, get on the couch, Jess I, Allen. I mean, oh, yes. Keep going. Wow, yeah. yeah. Good, well, very good. That's deep. Oh. Um, okay, Sin, have you ever found out something, you know, about your parents that you wish you didn't I know? Would, I, first of all, I would like all the secrets to come out. I keep on telling them, like, if there's any other secrets, tell, tell me, me now. <laughs> no, my mom, I, I was surprised when she told me that she had been engaged before my dad, because as soon as you find this out, you're just like, oh, so could I have been a different version of me with a different <laughs> <laughs> We made yes. jokes. Yes. Would have you. I would have me. Yeah. Exactly. What about you? Yeah, I could have been half Indian, because it was the same situation. My mom got a promise ring from her Indian boyfriend, okay. and then he left to go back to India for some reason, and then when she kind of broke up with him while he was gone, met my dad, and uh, here I am. Oh, wow. <laughs> Secrets, I love it. Amazing. This has been a spicy conversation. <laughs> so uh, I have to tell everyone good news. You can join me and Jess on Instagram Live today at 4.30 Eastern. We're going to continue the spicy conversation. We're going to be answering questions like whether we're vengeful and hold a grudge. Mm -hmm. And if there are things we regret doing in life when we were young and stupid. Oh. <laughs> Tuning in. And hopefully I'll get some more therapy. But for now, <laughs> it's time for the big reveal. Drum roll, please. Our next social chapter selection is... The new Audible original Winona Earp! So this audio drama picks up where the TV show left off following Winona and her soulmate Doc Holliday as they search for the promised land, AKA Dollywood. There are fights with demons, there's a spicy romance, and a bunch of the TV show's actors are actually back to perform their characters. So get ready to listen to this and get lost in this gritty supernatural world. Ooh, cannot wait. That's called, in television, a tease. A tease. <laughs> so make sure to head to audible.ca, you can listen along with us. Your first audiobook is free with your membership. So what are you waiting for? Hey you, come a bit closer. We've got so many more must-see interviews, spicy debates, lifestyle tips, and pop culture moments. So subscribe to our channel by tapping the logo below and don't miss out.